Hi, this is a walkthrough for creating a dynamic chart inside of PowerPoint. To do this, we must use an Excel file as middleware between Salesforce and our PowerPoint document inside of the DDP. But for this example, we will be referencing the blue, green, red, and orange fields on the account object. To begin, select your appropriate DDP, then gain access to the PowerPoint document you wish to use. As our initial step, we will first add the type of chart to our PowerPoint document. For our example, we must first create a new slide and then insert a chart. The type of chart you use doesn't matter. Select whatever you like. An Excel file should pop up. Take note of how the range is laid out. We're going to try to replicate this in our new Excel file. And once the chart is inserted, you want to go back to the Home tab and select your selection panel and then rename your chart. We're using Chart 1 as the range name for our dynamic chart. We're going to copy this and reference it in our Excel file that we make in a moment. Once the PowerPoint is ready to be saved, be sure to upload it or replace it within Salesforce. And once that's done, we can move on to creating our Excel file. For this example, we're going to open up the field tagger and ensure that the document type has Excel selected. Next, we're going to open up our document and try to replicate the range that we saw in the original Excel file when we inserted the chart. We're going to designate a spot for the blue, green, red, and orange fields on the account object. Next, we're going to navigate and find the field tags for each field and paste it into the Excel ranges. Once all field tags have been added to the Excel file, we must define all of the data as a range. So we're going to select cells A1 to B5 and insert the chart 1 range that our dynamic chart inside of PowerPoint had. This is what our PowerPoint chart will be referencing inside of the DDP. Next, we must save our Excel document. and then upload or replace it within Salesforce. For our example, we have to create a new document within Salesforce. Once the file is saved, be sure to insert it into the DDP in the Select File section of the DDP Detail page. First, you must select your folder, then drag and drop your Excel file into the middle grid. For all dynamic charts in PowerPoint, the Excel file must come first. Once the Excel file is inserted, you must reselect the Excel file and insert it into the PowerPoint by dragging it to the far right grid. Then you must enter the range of your dynamic chart in Excel range. From here, you can zero out the start and end pages for the first Excel document, and then it is ready for testing. Navigate to a record on your DDP object and select the Loop Plus button. Choose a contact if necessary in addition to your DDP and delivery option and then run. Once the DDP is finished processing, you can download your file or open it in the browser and confirm that the information was merged correctly. As you can see, 
the appropriate information was inserted into the document. The values for blue, green, red, and orange match what was in Salesforce. And that is how you add a dynamic chart to PowerPoint. Thank you.